Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Hope everybody's having a very safe and pleasant holiday. Let's get into Iraq, shall we? So Al Sidini, the 2024 will be the year of completion of projects in Iraq. That would be nice. Remember, I told you the problem with Iraq was they kept starting a lot of projects back in their corrupt days. Not that they're any less corrupt, but back in old days, they had all these fake projects that they were starting or there were projects that they started but never completed because the people took the money and uh, pretty much stole it. So now they have a process in which they're able to keep track of all the projects going on. And then they're just giving them, if, if people borrow money, they just give them a little at a time and they monitor the progress of the projects, which is a smart idea. Al Sudini is saying that this next year coming up, this could be a good year for the completion of uh, projects. So Al Sudini confirmed on Sunday that the government has raised the slogan of not keeping any projects in it. While she indicated that the 2024 will be the year of completion of projects. The Prime Minister chaired a meeting of the Service and Engineer Efforts Team, during which to report on the progress of implementation and work done in the sites and projects undertaken by the team in Baghdad and the governance during 2022 and 23 were discussed. During the meeting, the Prime Minister listened to the comprehensive presentation of the reality of work on projects and the rates of progress and was briefed on the obstacles that hinder work, as well as following up the necessary procedures for the continuation of the flow of implementation and the schedules of quantities related to projects until the end of the year. The Prime Minister stressed that the team, with the exceptional work method it followed, was able to reduce the cost of projects and squeeze the time necessary to complete them directing to overcome obstacles in all joints of the work and maintain momentum in all the working team formations. So the evaluation of the reality of work by the adversary body represented by the Iraqi Engineers Syndicate, stressing the importance of adopting technical examinations of projects when completed and not adopting any project that is not subject to full examination and engineering standards. He stressed the cost reduction should not be an expense of quality and efficiency standards, pointing out that the government has raised the slogan of not keeping any projects lagging in it and that 2024 will be the year of completion of projects. That's uh, good to hear. I mean, it's, it's, he's talking a good talk, but uh, that's always been a thorn in the side of Iraq, not completing a lot of these projects that are just lingering around out there. So 2024 should be an interesting year for Iraq. Said so a government and central bank win the battle for financial and banking reform in 2023. Said so the data, signals, facts, and preliminary results achieved in 2023 indicated that the government prime minister, Al Sudini, and the central bank, in continuous cooperation and coordination among them, have yielded their comprehensive reform steps contained in the government curriculum in the axis of financial and banking reform and the strategy of the central bank which focused on regulating the financial of foreign trade and opening direct dealing between Iraqi banks, which secure the necessary requirements to deal with correspondent banks and open new foreign currencies in addition to the United States dollar, such as the yen, the UAE Durham, the Indian rupee, the Turkish lira, to trade them for foreign transfers with these countries in accordance with understanding and agreements with the United States Reserve and the United States Treasury Department. So the role of the central bank should be supervisory. The other achieved is the compliance of Iraqi banks with the global banking system and regularity within the system of international banking relations, which restored confidence in the safety of banking transactions with Iraq, and this is an important and basic goal. The other important goal, which is working on implementing the government in cooperation and coordination with the central bank, the association of banks, and the electronic payment companies, is to move from the monetary economy to the digital economy and the issuance of a number of decisions from the Council of Ministers and several executive instructions and procedures from the central bank to achieve this in a record period. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see how fast they switch over to digital currencies and if they absolutely positively go cashless. Because that means they're going to force people who have the Iraqi dinar to do something with the dinar. If they're trying to go 100% cashless, what are they going to require for those of us who are holding on to the Iraqi dinar? This is going to be very interesting to see what happens. We don't want a 100% digital society. The new thing is the Sudanese government 
is that it draws plans and follows up the implementation on a daily basis with the authorities concerned with the implementation and participates in facilitating the procedures and overcoming obstacles first. They're constantly consulting with the central bank as a government advisor. Since in the last week of 2023, the central bank and the government put before them in 2024 the complete financial and banking reforms. And to achieve financial and banking reform, control and maintain the stability of the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar so that the official rate is not equal to the exchange rate in the parallel markets. The objectives planned for the said year should be as follows. So first they need to build a uh, stable and financial system that goes along with the electronic payments. Commitment to establish compliance rules. We don't need to see all these things. They're just, what, they're, what they're laying out here is the reform. But again, I'm uh, watching it closely because I am curious and concerned about what their plans are. If they're going to try to go 100% cashless, and if that's the case, are they going to start making people turn into Iraqi dinar, or, or are you just going to be ass out if you don't? So that's something that we definitely want to keep an eye on. We'll see how this plays out. A government source reveals these Sudanese measures to reduce the dollar to its official price. So a source stated to the news, in light of the positive developments witnessed by the exchange market in the interest of economic stability, the prime minister directed the formation of a joint Iraqi-Turkish committee representing market forces and Iraqi and Turkish economic organizations between the two countries and including on the Iraqi side, the Association of Iraqi Banks. The private sector, the Iraqi Turkish Business Council, the Federation of Iraqi Chambers of Commerce, the Iraqi Contractors Union, and its counterparts from the Turkish side, and the committee met semi-annually and submits its report to the Prime Minister. Al-Sudini also directed, according to the source, to open a direct dialogue on the issue of the equal deal through direct negotiations with the Turkish Exporter Union and the Turkish Central Bank in coordination with the Central Bank of Iraq due to the Turkish party's high desire to pay in the local currency to finance part of the four price support baskets, food, pharmaceutical, construction, spare parts proposed by the Prime Minister in his defense policy for price stability in Iraq. It is noteworthy that the dollar in the local market is witnessing a noticeable decline as it recorded a 1,500 dinars for every dollar this evening. The immediate advisor said the battle with the dollar is nearing its end. The will of the Sudanese government to carry out reform within the financial institutions in Iraq and the insistence on correction were important factors in strengthening confidence between Baghdad and Washington and constituted a positive step in achieving success within the banking sector. As we said previously, we confirmed this today, our battle with the dollar is nearing the end. And as you can see right here, it says the dollar continues its gradual decline following the 1,500 dinars for every dollar. And that's what you want to see happen, that gap close. So again, the year is winding down. I would say Iraq did pretty good despite all the BS that's going on. We are looking forward to 2024. Hopefully with a lot of great news as Iraq continues to move forward to do what's best for the people of Iraq. Anyways, that's it for now. I look forward to your comments and I'll get back at you later. I'm out.